Not long ago, I uh, mentioned on one of my videos that uh, Slovenes are closest to Italians. Um, I owe an explanation for that. Uh, I was just being really sarcastic about it. Uh, so I decided I am gonna... Well, uh, the attitude during MK Ultra made me act sarcastic about the issues. I was asked a million times during MK Ultra, who are we closest to? What are we related to? And etc. 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 Uh, and more than what I was asked, who are we related to? I was threatened a whole lot on how to see things as death threats rained on me. Never more when just prior to Slovenian independence, never more than prior to Slovenian independence from two sides, believe it or not. One side was a Serbian side, Russian side. El death threats for Slovenian independence rained on me like 40 years ahead of Slovenian independence but a stuff that went on during the last six months of Slovenian's presence in greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia is impossible to tell People who knew about it were definitely terrified. The thing is, they haven't done anything about it. Golovic, Gregor Golovic, etc., etc., entire Slovenian parliament knew about that stuff. Uh, horrific stuff. And then there was that other side also that had death threats rained on me. Believe it or not, it was Italy. Italy, Italia, which failed with Slovenian independence big time and did not settle for peace with me. It seemed to me like they had a war with me. Like they wanted, they, they were demonstrating the Slovenian side that all they want is war with me. And so it was. Uh, I blamed British royals for it all when it comes to Italian prison, jails system. They sure had a lot to do with it. But then there was another side that had a lot to do with it. Rome. Uh, this is a story about the Slovenian independence. Who to whom we Slovenes are the most related to. DNA wise and there was a guy involved in MK Ultra who by the way I don't think he did such a good job uh, he titled the video Italy got Slovenia coastline mm, I think this guy got everything wrong about the history um, the most important, he mentions Slovenia, uh, he doesn't even talk about. He doesn't tell anything about Slovenian people, six centuries present. And he is very, very brief about the presence of Ilirs, Celts in the area. Um, he doesn't tell a whole lot about Slovenia, what Slovenia was. Uh, it's just something little about how Slovenia lost Trieste. Trieste, believe it or not, Trieste is the biggest city, Slovenian city, ever. This is the biggest Slovenian city. A capital of Slovenia is called Ljubljana. But the biggest Slovenian city really is not Ljubljana, was not Ljubljana. The biggest Slovenian city was 
city of Trieste. This was a Slovenian city, city of Trieste. Uh, and it goes straight to the issue to whom we Slovenes are the most related to. Well, um, it really, really depends on how you see yourself as, who you see yourself as. Um, but genetically, Slovenian people prior to, uh, or I should say, till a, a, a so-called kingdom of the SHS, kingdom of the Slovenes, Serbs and Croats, uh, mostly the Serbian kingdom, known as the Karadjordjevic kingdom. Let me give you a little history here. Tin kingdom SHS. This is a pretty much Balkan map of Yugoslavia, with exception of a big part of uh, Slovenian, Croatian, missing Istra, Notranska, and so on. Big, big, big portion of it. This stuff here. And this is something Italian side doesn't like to see it. Italians don't like to see this stuff here. They don't... They don't recognize this. They don't. They don't. Uh, they don't. They're not. They're not happy about the truth. They're not happy about the facts. But these are really facts. Yeah. There's a lot of fabricated stuff that goes out there. In fact, mostly most of the videos that are published on the internet are fabricated issues, lies that different governments publish for different reasons, for different issues. But this video I'm about to give you is the most factual video that you possibly can imagine when it comes to uh, issues of Austria, Italy, in an area of Slovenia, Slovenia definitely, Croatia, Hungary, etc., etc. So that once and for good we settle these differences with the facts. Now, this here is what you see are, are known as the Illyrian provinces. That is, you see, it outlines Croatia, a uh, good portion of Slovenia, uh, a lot about what's missing on the uh, western side of Slovenia, what used to be Slovenia. Uh, Slovenes genetically looking at DNA, genetic DNA, okay? genetic DNA. Genetically, Slovenes are related to the Ilir, Ilirs, to the Celts, to the Slavs, uh, also a genetic admixture of, uh, sure, of Romans. It was a Roman Empire also here. Uh, and uh, whatever, whoever else traveled through here. And I am talking about factual genetic composition of the Slovenian people. Factual genetic composition of the Slovenian people is till the kingdom of the SHS. Once the kingdom of the, once the Serbs started to move into the area, uh, genetic composition changed enormously. Okay, but that's a totally different, that's like um, something like uh, Hitler stated, make this land again German. Uh, this is what the Karadjordjevic, the Serbs, tried to do with Slovenia already long, long, long before the Hitler arrived on the stage. Maybe the Hitler got idea uh, about Machen Sie diese Land wieder Deutschland. Maybe he got an idea from the Karadjordjevic, from the Serbs. And then he made that famous saying. Um, it was dedicated to the Slovenia. Make it again Germany. Well, the thing is that this was Germany. This was in an enormous way, in, in majority, mainly this, till the kingdom of the SHS, people here were populated with a mixture of the Slavic people, which are Slovenian people, uh, and a German people, Celts, Ilirs, uh, Ilirs extend all the way through the Balkans, all the way to Albania. Uh, I think also some 
portion of the Greece, all the way to the Greece. These are old settlers, old Balkan settler, settlers, original. So you, I'm talking about the fucking DNA, genetic composition. That's what we are talking about in this video. There was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of people, million people asked about what, who are we related to? This is it. That's the end of the story. Then, when it was a kingdom of the SHS, uh, Serbs started to move into the area enormously. And Slovenians even lost land, uh, giving one for free to the brotherly Serbs. Uh, because they ran from, um, from, from the Ottoman Empire, from the Turkish, from the Turks. And so we had to protect them. And so they move in and in, in parts of the country, etc., etc. So genetic composition was changing. But what, where did the Slovenian people land it when they moved here in this area? Well, uh, they landed obviously in the country of the Celtic people, of the Illyric people mixed uh, with some admixture of the Roman people also. Um, and it was all kinds of other people is where basically they landed and they this is what is important part about this they not landed only in Slovenia our homeland Slovenian homeland really is Austria Austria is a little bit bigger Slovenia this is what the Slovenian is and it goes all the way to Bavaria Bavarian people uh, I think they have a some Slovenian, a whole lot actually, old settlers, old ba Bavarian people, I think they have a whole lot of DNA admixture from Slovenian people. Slovenian people all the way to Bayern, all the way to Munich, not kidding, across Vienna, mixed with the German people, with also with the German people, oh, there you go, also with the German people, German influx, German population took over in the 7th century. Slovenian life in 7th century and 8th century, it's German, Germany basically that takes over our countries. We, be, we become part of the Germany. Yeah, you can call one Holy Lo Roman Empire if you want. Hey, you got mosquitoes here. But that really was a Germany, and you can call one Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, but in Austro-Hungarian Empire, it was a Czech Republic, Czech Republic, Czechia, and Slovenia that were part of the intrinsic part of Austria. So this intermixing between these peoples who lived here, uh, it was eternal. It went for, I don't know, over a thousand years. I don't know, 1,200, 1,300 years. Okay? If you want to know genetic composition of the Slovenian people, this is genetic composition of the Slovenian people, of the real Slovenian people. So there's not going to be some mistakes about what is Slovenia, who is Slovenia, what is Slovenian related to, and this and that. Yeah. Um, something let me demonstrate you uh, ended up ended yeah something that ended like this Slovenian uh, and we're gonna put down here 1900 like this, Slovenia 1900, then what we do is, what I could do is, I take the map like this, and this is a map of the Slovenia in 1900. In 1900, Slovenia was Austria. Not really, but this is what Austria have given us. With this stuff here, <laughs> I know a lot of people are not going to like that. Well, the thing is that... Uh, Facts are facts, and what you want to see is how you would like to. Uh, that's a different story, but this here, these are facts. Everything in this video I'm presenting today are facts. There's no historian that can really dispute any of these facts. 
Uh, what you see here is uh, a big piece of what is known as a canton. That's a southern part of the Austria. A big piece of it. And it extends all the way to the Tyrol. South Tyrol, South Tyrol, all the way. See this? And then you also have also a big piece here of the Styria, Steiermark, still under the Slovenia. Now Slovenian lost by then at least, at least twice as much, at least one time for sure, maybe even twice as much territory as to what you see here in the map is. But that's okay, that's a normal thing. It's a normal thing because it, 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 they were mixing, they were intermixing with the different people. They have fallen under different jurisdictions. Uh, it was all kinds of people that plundered Europe, stayed here, just like us, like everybody. Uh, let's say, Huns, Hungarians, let's say, uh, settled right next to us. Uh, you know, it, it, Hungarians also entered Slovenia, they also mixed with us. <coughs> in a small percentage, but they did, still they did. And this here is the Trieste, right? This here, you're going to see this map here, you're going to see Zaliu Trzaski, now Zaliu Trzaski, a Gulf of Trieste. And yeah, you can see that, you can see that much more clearly than on this video here. If you look at the map of Slovenia's coastline, you You know, you're not going to see any of this stuff, by the way, on his video, he doesn't talk about it, he says how the Slovenes lost lost a, a Gulf of Trieste. By the way, this man was involved in MK Ultra. It's a nice, pleasant guy. I like the guy. But the thing is that I'm going to do a little bit better job and I hope that he can maybe do even uh, part number two. And uh, he can do it again. Maybe he can, he can improve this video. Okay? So he suggests he suggests it's like if you, if you look, look at a map of Slovenia's coastline, yeah. you'll quickly notice that the Italian border just sort of does this. He did notice a lot, though. It's all because of this city right here, Trieste. Yeah, which Trieste. Was a short time. Uh, so the thing about it is that at least he paid attention to these issues. Most of the people do not. You see, uh, Slovenia, Slovenia under Austria also had Istria, entire Istria, Rijeka. Uh, some of my family members, believe it or not, traveled to Rijeka. I should have some family even in Rijeka. One aunt, I think, is ended up in the Rijeka also. You know, um, uh, it doesn't make sense to me for me to talk about uh, land here that was uh, that came under the Croatian jurisdiction. Uh, like in a in a quarter in Gorski quarter, etc., etc. That's that's a, those are other issues, and I'm not here to open the land disputes. I'm not here to say, hey, Trieste, this is from Slovenia. You know, give us the Trieste, uh, or let's say Gorica, Gorizia. Uh, this is Slovenia, and give it back to us. This is not what I'm here for. You know, I'm not here. I'm just here to straighten up certain issues, certain facts. So that's not going to be any doubts about whom, how, and so on, so that maybe something also for other generations that they, they will remember maybe about this case, what I had to say about all this. You might disagree with, with me, and I'm going to say that's your problem, uh, just like uh, you can say that's my problem. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I'm not here to tell you, hey, you know, whatever, but... Facts are facts. These are facts here. Um, entire, yes, entire, entire Gulf of Trieste. It wasn't about the, 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 the Trieste only, but it was about big part here still. Still it was. It was bigger before. Be Beneška Krajina is very, very Slovenian. Um, it stated that we are related to the Venet Veneti people. Venet, uh, uh, people in the, this whole area it, eastern part of Italy is populated with western Slovenian people um, definitely there is presence of that stuff um, there is presence of 
Slovenian people in France. Now you're going to say I'm completely fucking crazy, but the thing is I'm not. Yeah, and I, I say so boldly Slovenian people because somehow Slovenian people, the names, the names, the names that they more resemble Slovenian, Slovenian language wherever you go toward Western Europe than languages from other uh, Slavic nations. That's why I'm so bold about Slovenian because we have a very specific last names and I don't know. Uh, there is a place here. Uh, this this is a stuff I shouldn't I shouldn't uh, mix into it. But uh, actually, this one here is quite from Belarus, isn't it? This is a breast. You know. I am just giving you an example. The Slavic people did penetrate it all the way to this area. People were mixing with one another throughout the Europe. So, you know, it happens, the stuff that you see. It's all kinds of stuff that, that, that happened. Yeah. So, I'm not saying that French people are Slovenian people. I like French people, though. So... There you have it. That's my retaliation toward France. And the nice thing about Europe is exactly the stuff I'm talking about. People mixed back and forth, different nations. It's all kinds of uh, nations that have traveled through here, uh, including Vikings, for instance. Uh, Putin hates that kind of stuff. And Visigoths. This was empire of the Visigoths at one po point in time. Uh, Gothic people, basically. There was a lot of stuff that the Russians had a lot of problems with. This piece of... They claimed Slavic land, even that though they wouldn't want us to exist here, on the other hand. It's something like Hitler. Uh, everything that is stated in the books about the Hitler is what I have experienced in the real time when meeting Vladimir Putin and Russians, basically. It's like they just couldn't wait, basically, to erase us. I'm going to put it this way. They just impatiently had to deal with these issues uh, and boiled in anger and frustration that they had to eventually deal with us uh, old settlers, real Slovenian people, natives from here. And we just, you know, this is the way it was during MK Ultra. I'm just giving you in and out, yes? These are facts. This is the way it is. What you see here, however, was under the Austria. Slovenes under Austria had their language and so on. Uh, this is a Slovenish, Slovenish London here. The lands, the Slovenian... Slovenske dežele, uh, Slovenske dežele, Zemlevit in Pokrajin, uh, in the map is 1853. Uh, this is some kind of a guy by the name Knorr. Knorr, like, Knorr, like, uh, well, Knorr, Knorr noodles, whatever. So this is this is what was under Austria, yes. This is what, what was under Austria. The Trieste was the biggest Slovenian city. Capital of the Slovenia was Trieste. This is the way it is. And so then the kingdom, then the Austria have fallen apart. Austria goes off the picture. It's the kingdom of the SHS that appears. The kingdom of the SHS was expensive for Slovenia. Slovenia lost one size of its territory of today. Kingdom of SHS is this thing here. It appears in 1918 and Austria disappears. We lose everything, basically. Uh, I am just going to put here map, and the map is completely different. 
you can see that half of Slovenia, more than half of Slovenia, just a little pieces stays from Slovenia. But that doesn't matter because the Serbs get <laughs> Serbs quadruple in size. Croats lose, but Serbs quadruple in their size. The Macedonians comes to existence, Montenegrins, uh, Kosovo, uh, but Serbs more than quadruple. They, they become about five times as big. Quadruple, at least four times as big as they were before. This is, this is reality. So, if you want to know the history of the Trieste, that's it. That's the end of it. Bye-bye Trieste. Bye-bye everything. Bye-bye Styria. Bye-bye wherever we had in the Styria. And bye-bye uh, Kenton, uh, southern part of what is now in Austria and so on. Bye-bye bloody everything. Uh, entire eastern part of uh, Slovenian lands. Uh, Italians who were really pleased with this deal because Italians got increased their land, their territory, and lost uh, the First World War. Austria lost the First World War, and there you have it, voila, Italians profited enormously from this First World War. Their size, uh, it just generated, it got big like this. This is the map that comes out. Italy, there you go. Well, this is in a Cyrillic language, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm sure you understand. You can see basically um, up north, the furthest up, that's Austria. And to the west, that's Italy. And to the east, that would be Hungary. Um, yeah, this is the outcome of the World War One. We disappear from the planet, basically. We are split on whatever is left of Slovenia. So, I don't know, this kingdom of the SHS and all this, even worse was Yugoslavia. That one was even worse. Uh, but we lost rapidly once we transitioned from the Austria to the kingdom of the SHS and uh, to what became a Yugoslavia we lost enormously a lot of land eventually when it came to Yugoslavia uh, the Slovenian partisans uh, with some Croatian partisans but mainly Slovenian partisans because you know I don't like when they say oh it was a Yugoslav military entered the city of the Trieste Fuck no, there was no Yugoslav military. It was again the Slovenian military, however, with the Yugoslav flag. Uh, they did go all the way to Trieste, to the Gorica, and they liberated them. Uh, people in Trieste and in Gorica were ready to join back to, uh, to its native part. However, there was a big problem. Uh, what now? Austria was of the picture, did not exist in under the terms of the past. It was instead Serbia that presented Slovenia in the name of Yugoslavia. And so the problem was with the British, the biggest one, the British decided that the entire Trieste, Gorizia, everything, almost will remain the same with, ex with exception to Istria they would have to return to Slovenia and to the Croatia uh, and so then uh, the Istria uh, in Yugoslavia uh, it was given to uh, mostly to the Croatia and uh, voila Trieste remained as a part of uh, Italy, like this, you know, like you see the map, basically, just as you see as the map of today. This is the this is the this is the truth about every whatever the fuck you want to know about like latest history about this Slovenia, Yugoslavia. If you if you're in doubt who the Slovenian people are, what the Slovenian people are, Slovenian people are this. This is what the Slovenian people is. But this is not the end of the story. There is a few remarks I'm going to make in respect to this video. This is the reality. Yeah, this is this is the way it is. Yeah, this is the way it is. Here you have 
You have all this here. Monfalcone, Trieste, Gorizza, all this stuff. Everything went on, under the Italy. This is just the way it. And I'm not here again to attack Italy or say uh, this is a Slovenian and so on. This is the way it was. Uh, when Yugoslavia came to the picture, uh, the Slovenian people in on Italian side were actually even pleased with this stuff because the brutality that started to go on under the Josip Broz Tito uh, was unmatched to uh, the new rule under the Italy and it was unmatched under the to the new rule in Austria because it was not only only this here that we lost we also lost a good part here when it comes to Fila here this Austria Klagenfurt yeah these are just the new borders and uh, the Slovenian people Matica Slovenska which remained known as a Slovenia uh, was uh, just you know under this kind of uh, circumstances now there is a few other facts that are very very important to mention uh, Slovenian people did occupy this area here where you see Udine uh, all this area here they occupied um, by the way northern part of Italy is greatly mixed intermixed with the Austrian with the German population and with the Slovenian population and of course with mainly Italian population you now these are the facts this is the way it is uh, so now uh, once the country transition when this once this country is transitioned uh, Slovenia in particular was not transitioned under the Serbia under the Belgrade um, it was an e easy job to complete whatever the two countries uh, one is Austria and Italy started earlier uh, Italy did uh, a, a heavy genocide of the Slovenian people yeah we, we we should never forget the extermination procedure that Italians started uh, that resulted in uh, uh, in people running from northern northeastern part of Italy overseas to United States uh, to all directions it, Italians have a very very bloody history when it comes to Slovenia very very bloody history and before Adolf Hitler even appeared before Adolf Hitler even appeared um, what I stated to you at the beginning of the video this is when it all goes sour everything goes sour with the name Adolf Hitler um, once Adolf Hitler appeared in the picture with a what we had uh, as a, known as a final solution, uh, his plan was to resettle Slovenian people to the Slovakia, uh, and he already started to throw the Slovenian people and populate Slovenian people with uh, Germans. Uh, started to throw Slovenian people even to the Serbia, to the Belgrade. Yeah, this is what Hitler did. Uh, everything that I stated to you that went on maybe for 1,300 years, prior 1,300 years, 1,300 years, uh, Adolf Hitler fucked up absolutely everything and the relationship between the Germans that's basically between the Austria and between the Slovenian people uh, it got lost totally um, this resettlement of Slovenian people to the Slovakia easily could end up also in a complete extermination procedure even that Hitler claimed that Slovenian people are German people didn't make a lot of sense because he keep set, uh, populating the country with the German people and his plan was to settle us to the Slovakia and I don't know what his plan was for the Slovakia really but he did have uh, what was known as a 
East solution, Eastern solution, it was to basically exterminate all the Slavic people, basically choke them like a cockroaches. Uh, the Polacks, uh, the Czechs, the Slovaks, systematically, uh, Russians, etc., etc. It was not a pretty picture. And for that reason, some people here from the Czech Republic told me, sorry, they told me, Bob, sorry, Bobby, but everything was okay, more or less, till Adolf Hitler popped up. Once Adolf Hitler popped up on the picture, unfortunately, there is nothing to talk about any further about possibility of Austrian, Slovenian and Czech uh, Union again. This is where the picture went totally sour. Uh, Hitler, believe it or not, was an Austrian. That's what makes things even fucking crazier. Uh, he uh, hated Jews for banking for many reasons. Uh, Jews did own banking, they did own financially, really large piece of Germany, if not entirely. This is not even conspiracy. This is actually fact. But the Slovenian people, this here, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, whom the hell do we post the trouble, a threat? Uh, they were using us since from forever for the wars against Italians, against uh, you fucking name it against the against the Serbs here against uh, even against the Turks uh, they used us against the Russians uh, we made it all the way to Ukraine uh, my grandfather was captured not in Belarus past Belarus in Russia uh, as an Austrian uh, army man my God, he served the is uh, the Western uh, Sorrento uh, Soshka front uh, on Italian front line, uh, and uh, from there he was sent to as an Austrian soldier to fight Russians on the Eastern front. But like, we from one fucking place to another to defend the Austrian Empire. Uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire basically and I don't understand but this man was really fucking crazy that's one thing that I can tell about the Hitler and so with the arrival of Adolf Hitler um, this is basically where our you know whatever you want to call it when you ask who are you the most related to you know why don't you guys give me uh, a gesture and I would really be interested in considering what your gestures are, what you think. I'm definitely not to this here, this Serbia, this is a continuation of the Adolf Hitler in the form of Serb, Russians basically. They would want to erase us as fast as possible literally according to Adolf Hitler principles, if not even worse. Um, so, yeah, I'd be interested in hearing your comments, but Italians did commit very, very worse things against Slovenian people uh, way before Adolf Hitler popped up. They, they had concentration camps in Italy, they exiled Slovenian people. Uh, when Slovenia headed for independence, Slovenia headed for independence, maybe interesting, where did Slovenia get the weaponry from for the Slovenian independence? Slovenians considered two locations. Uh, ports such as Rijeka and another one was Koper Kapodistria. Rijeka was a Croatian, so mainly the weaponry came from the Koper, and also mainly the weaponry came literally through the border with Austria. 
the one who supported us during Slovenian independence were Austrian Germans foremost Germans did for us the most for the independence for the Slovenian independence they armed us they helped us us they understood us and they stood by me personally as much as anybody can stand next to anybody but I cannot say the same thing about the Italian people the Italian people during the Slovenian independence in 91 guaranteed me from Rome they were the worst they were from the Rome they boiled in anger when they heard Slovenia is gonna go for independence and they guaranteed all the TV stations from Italy all the TV men from the Italy especially here Rome and all this uh, Napoli Rome they it was nothing but death threats they were raining in my face and why was this death threats that they rain in my face uh, why did they start to support the Serbia they started to support Serbia at large because of the ethnic background because of ethnicity somewhat because of the racial issues um, Italy goes to the two parts one is a northern part and the other part is southern part and the two parts are very very different uh, or through even from Milano they did not like me and the only one who cast the support for me was some people from the Trieste um, maybe Venice something like this here from the north you know I don't know uh, Brescia Vicenza Verona I have no idea but even here I would say probably Bologna uh, Florence and so on all this stuff they they, they, they fucking wanted me dead uh, Slovenian independence um, we missed meeting with the dead during the Slovenian independence for just a millimeters because of the Italy this is what the Slovenian people deserves to know about this stuff about who are you uh, most related to and this and that uh, definitely we are not related to Italians definitely not uh, if we made it out of the Serbia and we would somehow become part of the Italy it would be even probably maybe I don't know either the same or even worse than than the Serbia uh, so no when it comes to Italy uh, it's a very different uh, ethnic background almost I would say a racial background the problem is that the orders the command that comes it always comes from the Rome from the, their prosecutors down from South Napoli and all this uh, and you can live anywhere in in Italy up north or Milano or Torino or whatever and I'm not trying to divide Italy for that reason this is not what I want to do or I don't want to make Italian people uncomfortable about no I actually welcome them in Slovenia I like to see different people all kinds of people with different backgrounds I like this idea I like that uh, but these are just the facts uh, they can fuck you up from the Rome remotely uh, from Napoli from some place on the south through the political connection because in Italy is a lot of corruption the corruption is abounding in Italy like you would not fucking believe like there is no tomorrow and this is just the way it is what was the biggest problem Italian problem with us when we separated from uh, from from Serbia uh, the ethnic background that's basically a light skin and more German look more Austrian more German look uh, they were simply disturbed uh, with idea that there will be another uh, as they would refer to as white country uh, in the area of the Italy they did not like they did not like the idea they fucking hate it with the passion as much as they possibly could and so I remember some Slovenian people saying uh, 
even due to terror that went on because of Milan Kuchan, because of Borat Paho, on how to see ourselves. And people are simply raped into seeing themselves as a Serbs, as a Slavs. Uh, in the worst case scenario, even as Italians, even as Italian will pass, uh, they were using Robert Golob for that issue, Gorizia issue. Uh, but under no circumstance you're allowed to see yourself for what you are. Basically, well, I did explain the issue behind Austria, behind the Germany, right? But so this is Slovenia. This is not Austria. This is not Germany. This is just our country. This is our history. This is the way. This is what we are related to. This is how it is. Like it or not, Pollock hated the fact I am talking about right now. But the thing is that Pollock, Pollock raped me personally into ideology of turning myself literally into the Serb. You know. Uh, sided literally with Milosevic, sided with the Serbs during during the Balkan Wars, uh, in a certain way, you know, in not entirely. They did not entirely. They they even did some symbolic help to the Croatia, but really the ally of Croatia and ally of Slovenia really was a Germany. Really was an Austria. Without Austria and Germany, we won't fucking exist. It will, we, will, we wouldn't be on the picture. We wouldn't be. It would be this Serbia here. A bigger Serbia would be still on the picture. I don't know. Maybe Italians were afraid of the Austria or something like this, or Germany or something like this. I would almost think this is what they were trying to give the impression. But this is not true. The, it was genetic composition that bothered them. It was a genetic composition that disturbed them. So, the life in Italy, if you are a light-skinned person, must not be fucking easy. Because they question you probably on every step of the way, whatever the fuck you do. Wherever you go, whatever you do, uh, it must be not easy. Simple as this. Because it's too many people politically twisted system, I feel, that they get in every pore of your life and twist one and fuck with you and, you know... Pretty much do whatever you want. It's like a kind of a gang culture, like some kind of a cancel culture. I have also encountered in the United States of America, like a mafia way, you know. That's all I wanted to stress about this video. If you have any doubts about what exactly, who we are, how genetically, what exactly genetic composition is, this is the way it is. This is just the way it is. For the Poland, they said, it, what they say, it's a... Um, it's a big Slovenia. I like Poland. I, I like Poland genetically, but the people, the people, some people were, were just uh, completely, uh, <clears throat> how, how the hell can I say? Um, uh, they, they totally tear themselves off the chain. I mean, I don't know what to say. The Italian side even threatened me with assistance to Ukraine if I would talk about these things. Well, I am going to talk about these things because they concern me. I just a lot of stuff also about the Slovenia uh, that I continue to talk about. I'm, I'm not interested in being silenced in any way. You enforce this stuff and now it's my time. It's not the payback, but the world must know the truth about this case, about what went on. So. I hope I clear the issues about, but you know, if you talking to Slovenian people, you're gonna talk, you're gonna behave stupid. Um, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter to me what what your destiny, how you're gonna how how you're gonna choose your destiny. The stuff that you have done to me, uh, it's so unacceptable that me personally, I don't even see myself as a Slovenian. I'm angry. I'm very angry on Germany, on Austria, because they allowed this type of inside of the Brussels with a France. France shouldn't allow this. It shouldn't allow with the Belgium, with the Netherlands. Uh, it shouldn't allow this kind of stuff, really, in the Brussels. Uh, British, I don't know how you did this stuff. I know the Swedes and Norwegians tried to help. Dan Danish tried to help with these issues. But the, 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 the more they tried to help with these issues, it was just surrounded 
with a lot of other countries, including some of the West, that were making things fucking impossible that really matched some of those death threats I got from the Italy when just prior to Slovenian independence, it was six months before that, it was not only Milosevic who was insane about getting me killed, but literally Italian side too. That's very, very important. And it was really, really, it really broke down into the ethnic issues, into, into, into literally on your, on your, on your, uh, how you look like, uh, your skin, your, your hair, your eyes. Yeah, shit, I didn't pass even with the brown eyes, with a with dark, with the darker brown hair, and my skin is not even light skin. I'm not light skin person. That's me. I'm not even light skin person. You know, in many ways, I would even probably pass as an Italian. Uh, and so, this is how it goes. So this is how it goes. This is just. My way is to say to you, thank you, uh, everybody, for the problems you created, and here are the facts. Um, Czech, Slovenian, Austrian, that's a very, very interesting combination. It's a very, very interesting combination, but it, it enormously, it, it profoundly, after the uh, after arrival of Adolf Hitler, after Nazi Germany, it, it profoundly changed the whole landscape of, of this nations which subsisted with one another for like, like I said, 1300 years, 1200 years, you know. Uh, Bohemia existed uh, sometimes independent and sometimes under the Austria, Germany, uh, Czech, Czech people. Uh, very... Uh, very, I don't know, very, very similar, not going to say the same, but this is, this is what this is, I mean, it's, it just, it just couldn't be anything different, really, nothing so damn special, uh, but not what many people claim to be, not what many people claim to be, uh, the DNA composition that you see is very, very political. Uh, I can take a uh, hundred species from Slovenia, and those one hundred species that I will take from Slovenia, I get to choose. Whatever this is, only two million people. Uh, whoever moved from whatever. And recently, this was mainly from Yugoslavia. And if I match those samples, the DNA samples, they're going to match closely to, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, to other parts of Yugoslavia, previous Yugoslavia, maybe to Bosnia, maybe to Serbia, maybe to uh, Croatia. Uh, but uh, this is not necessarily the real composition of the Slovenian people. The real composition of the Slovenian people is, as I stated you, uh, Kingdom of the SHS, this is since 1920. Um, so you can imagine about a hundred years. What about all those years before? Uh, what about other uh, I don't know, 1,300 years, uh, 1,200 years, where did they go? Okay, if you want to talk about the DNA composition, this is the way it is, these are facts. Mosquito, do you see it? It's going to eat me. <laughs>